it's um I'm gonna start off with the FPV transmitter this uh, was off of eBay it's actually a boss cam which is a pretty good name this it's a no-name camera but it's a CCD instead of the CMOS and uh, they say the difference is is the CC the CCD can adjust from high light to low light conditions so in other words if you're heading into the sun and then all of a sudden you dive into shade the camera recuperates quicker and uh, gives you a better picture so we'll start with the connectors now that sheet I send you I think it's backwards to be honest with you because this to me is a male where this is a female and it fits into it so uh, but it's saying it's the other way around either way um, this is an RP SMA because it has the little pin sticking out I don't know if you can see that or not I can't tell if it's in focus my glasses suck and then this one has the little hole in it which is going to fit into there. Never power up a transmitter without an antenna on it. It'll blow it immediately because the antenna works as a uh, like sort of a resistor. Okay, so you don't want it to just fly away. Sorry, I can't really angle my video down anymore. Let's see if I can. Right, without it falling over. Okay. a little crooked but that'll have to do okay so basically the transmitter has got a black and a red for power and then it's got a white and a blue or a white and a black or a yellow and a black for signal so this one here the yellow let me see if I remember this correctly all right this down here is better the black is ground the camera always needs ground and then it's got signal this is the video image and then the red will be power obviously you have to power up the camera so it's got power and ground for the camera and one signal line sometimes there's a fourth wire which is audio but nobody uses audio half the equipment out there doesn't use audio so you don't need to use it uh, I made this connector because I use Dean's like you do so in order to power this up I need to use JRT so I just soldered it on We'll take it, plug that in, and we'll power up the receiver, uh, sorry, the transmitter. You see the red light's on. Take the lens cap off. Now, get out the fat sharks. Yeah, and these aren't the right antennas. Usually, you use the clover leaf. And you can see there's four lobes on it. The four lobes are for the receiver end, and three lobes are for the transmitter end. And again, uh, this is opposite. So, this is going to be an SMA female. Or, as the paper says, it calls it a male. But it's got the little pin on it. So, uh, you can either buy them separately in this case because I'd need one of each or I just buy two different sets and uh, you know mix and match and swap them also there are adapters you could buy for you know a dollar two dollars that will uh, let you use an SMA where you need to and a RP SMA where you, where you need that let's get this all together here okay I'm on the wrong side these up. Yeah, man, it's like, it's impossible for you to see the image in here it's so hard to explain you just you know you said you had a buddy I don't know 
I mean, these aren't bad. These are actually a really good uh, goggle, good quality. And the best I can describe this one is, it's like you're looking down in a theater, but you're like in the back row. And you can see the whole, you know, screen, but it's from a little further away. But uh, these also have head tracking, which you wouldn't use on a quadcopter, but um, on my glider, I have head tracking, which allows the camera, you know, as you tilt your goggles down, the camera will go down. If you tilt the goggles up, the goggles, will, the camera will go up. And the same applies to right and left. So it's it's a neat feature. It really, it, you don't need it, but it's pretty cool to have. All right, and these. Is the quantum? Quantum. Sorry, there's no T in it. And there's a big screen right in there. And there's a separate transmitter. This is a Boss Cam transmitter. It's got uh, 32 channels. Um, the battery's somewhere around here. And there's a small battery, just like in the Fat Sharks. You just slide it to here. I think it's an 800 milliamp. All the wiring comes down on the bottom. Then you have the video, which is like such a garbage job here, but uh, it's just RCA jacks. So let me plug that in. Damn, it sucks. Alright, so now you got nothing but the program, the picture, the uh, channels. Try to find the right channel. There we go, just had it. Alright. Now, as you can see, I mean, the image is huge. Your whole face goes in there. If you wear glasses, uh, if you wear glasses, here's a picture of my ugly mug. If you wear glasses, you can, uh, you know, put your glasses on inside the unit. Uh, there is an adjustable lens up front right here. This first lens is adjustable, and behind that I installed the second lens. You order it for like $3 on eBay, and you cut it to size, and you glue it in place, and it actually doubles the magnification, which is it's phenomenal. <laughs> when you put it on, it's just it's amazing. It's, they always use the word immersion. You know, you immerse yourself in, in the video, and uh, it definitely does it. So those YouTube goggles, it's a matter of choice, and really, to make it an accurate decision, you're going to have to uh, try it on. You're going to have to, you know, hook up with your buddy if you have that available, and uh, you know, let him fly, so you can just concentrate on what the picture looks like, and, and then you can make an accurate decision. But remember, no matter what you do, never power up a transmitter without the antenna on it. This one's already smoking hot. They get hot. It's normal. But, uh, okay, so, uh, on to Alright, this is that ZMR250 from eBay that I told you about. This is my latest one, and I haven't flown it yet. But, uh, this is the first one I'm using, the Flip 32, which is a clone of the NASA 32. Um, I'm told that the software is basically the same. This is the one thing I said that if you were going to get into it, probably invest another $25 on top of the price of the the unit and uh, get an authentic because the uh, software they say is superior. But um, this kit, at uh, whatever it was, $120, comes with authentic uh, BL Heli 12 amp speed controllers and Emacs motors. Now these motors here. I got their uh, 1806s, and I'm changing them, I believe, to 2204s because they're, you know, the 2204 is a lot bigger motor. Um, I just don't like these, and I blew three of them by throwing a screw. Be very careful. Uh, comes with, I thought it came with two size screws when I was doing it. Plus, I was drinking a bit, so I took the uh, longer screw and I jammed it through, and what it did was cut the winding. All right, which made the motors useless. Uh, they, the characteristic 
when you do that is they shimmy back and forth and they never quite spin and that's because there's a short in it and it works on the three phase motor concept and it's a whole big long story but uh, yeah I fucked up so I wound up buying three more new motors and then deciding later on that I wanted to upgrade anyway so the motors are in they're on my table but um the frame is basic they're all about the same they're just different uh, little different shapes maybe you know, from this view I put my power board down here and then when I'm done soldering everything to it I mount it and then I cover it with uh, plastic dip the plastic dip comes off like a rubber glove you just peel it and it comes right off but at least it prevents it from shorting out on anything I also put a light I put an LED on the front uh, for night flying it really helps even in the daytime because it's so damn bright that uh, you can tell orientation because basically I mean I don't know about you but I can't really tell from here who's the front and who's the back and when you're 50 or 100 feet away it's even harder so um, yeah that, that always helps over here it comes with an anti-vibration board on the top it's got four rubber feet that fit right in uh, you could put any kind of camera here so you were talking about maybe the Mobius or the run cam or the Fox here they'll all fit right here they tie wrap right to it uh, it's a nice mount I bought a whole bunch of these JRT plugs they're nice um, I need to put one more in like this one for the FPV camera so wherever I decide to mount that uh, it'll have another plug just to plug into just for easy exchange like if I'm out in the field and I have an extra I can unplug one and plug another one in this way I'm not uh, messing around with it I changed the rubber feet these are like door stoppers rubber things you get from uh, Home Depot uh, it sits low nice very light too uh, you can get them under 400 grams you know if you if you're careful with the wiring I had a memory card. I had too many pictures from the, this past weekend. But uh, I'm not going to redo the whole video, so I figured I'd just restart. Uh, where were we? I don't know. I was talking about the motors, the B helis. In this kit, it comes with. Was authentic the right word? It, it's genuine. Genuine Emax motors. They're really well packaged, they're a well made motor. Um, they come in this cool box, which. As I say, you can put your weed in there when you're done, but the, the, uh, it comes with everything. If you don't have the right uh, Allen key, it comes with it. It's even a ball end Allen key. I mean, you know, nothing comes with a ball end key. It's just the quality unit. Uh, these screws, let's see how many screws they got me now. Okay, so this kit comes with four screws. Two long, two short. The smaller motors apparently came with three sets. Uh, a long, a medium, and a short, and uh, I wasn't aware, and because I was drinking, uh, I picked up a long instead of a medium, and rammed it right through the windings of the motor, so, uh, yeah, that shorted it out, it blew it, but yeah, these are, These are 2204s and 2300 kilovolts. Uh, actually, I don't think it stands for kilovolts. The I don't know if you know this, but the larger the second number, the first number is size. 22, I believe, is the width, and 04 is the height. So obviously, uh, if 22 is 28, it would be a much rounder motor. It'd be a, you know a big beefier motor. And uh, the last number, like I have 18s and that can is twice or three times the size of this. Uh, that's for the 450 size coppers. Um, yeah, the, the higher the KV, I believe the more RPMs it'll put out per volt. So there's some kind of formula, but I, I don't really care. I just go for high KV for the smaller props. Uh, that seems to solve everything. There's a science to everything, and I really don't like to get involved in the science, just the fun. So, uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm not trying to sell you the kit. I'm just saying for a uh, hundred and something dollars, 
it's not a bad deal. You, know, you can't beat it. And if you wreck it, who cares, right? You salvage the motors, then you have some spares. You order another one for another hundred bucks. Uh, that's the way I look at it, anyway. And that's that a hundred dollars is, you know, pocket change, but it's a lot better than spending uh, what you spent on the the Phantom the 2200. That's the Phantom's what about 900. Anyway, uh, that's the deal. And again, you know, you have the Dean, so I bought a crap load of Dean plugs. A lot of them come with the. Uh, PX60 plugs. I just cut them off and resolder my own on there. And that's it. So I hope it helped you. If you have any other questions, if I could show you any of the other gear, I'll do my best. Again, the goggles. I'm sorry, man. You got to really try them. There's no other way around it. All right.